In this video, I'm going to teach you how to get EPP code from GoDaddy. It's a very easy process, so make sure to follow along. In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can easily access your EPP code, also known as the authorization code for a specific domain name registered with GoDaddy. So to do this, usually you will have to go over to the transfer section for GoDaddy. So sign into your account, select your name on the navigation bar at the top of your screen, and then go over to my products. In here, you will be able to access your domain portfolio. So click on manage all at the right side of domains. This should redirect you to your domain portfolio where you can see all of the domains currently attributed to your name. Now locate the specific domain name that you would like to retrieve the EPP code for. So once you select a specific one, click on the domain name and you will have to look for a section either labeled authorization code, EPP code, or usually for most people, it's going to be labeled transfer as you can see on screen. So one way to check your EPP code is to start the process of transferring to another registrar. So choose the secondary option and you will be guided through the process. As you can see, they are going to simply give you a checklist that you can read through if you wish. And once you choose the option to continue with the transfer, before the second step, you will be able to see the authorization code. So as you can see, they are going to unlock your domain, which you can lock later, and finally the authentic authentication code or authorization code will be displayed. So all that you have to do now is note down this authorization code and you will be able to transfer this to another hosting service if you prefer. For this video I'm going to keep it short and I'm only going to be teaching you how to get the authorization code and you will be able to share it as necessary. So just click the option to transfer to another registrar and proceed to the secondary step. Of course you can always revert back if you don't wish to complete the step transfer, just make sure that you access this page to get the EPP code. I hope I was able to help you on how to get EPP code from GoDaddy. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.